Yo, yo. So I'm about to go off on another run here. This is a training day five for me in my training for a 30K trail run. And since it's day five, I want to talk just a little bit about uh, sometimes running, you know, any kind of exercise, it's a struggle to get going. And it's really easy to decide, oh, I don't feel good or I'm very tired. Uh, I'm just not gonna do it. And I've heard a lot of people say, you know, you need to listen to your body. And sometimes in saying that, we'll misinterpret if you don't feel like doing it, then don't do it. Um, but actually, one of the things that if you've decided to do a workout, a run or something, it's good to stick with that. So I exercise quite a bit. Um, and I go out in the mornings very often. But I would say more than half the times when I wake up, I do not want to do it. <laughs> um, and I think that people interpret me as a morning person and it's very easy for me to go and do it. But in those moments, you're not going to want to do it and that's okay. So if as you're going through kind of a new exercise plan or a running plan and once you wake up, you really feel kind of unmotivated, tired to get going, don't worry about that, push through. That's very normal. So with that as well, it is the morning, you know, give yourself a little bit of grace um, because it will take you time to get up, to get kind of moving, uh, but just do it. You know, you just gotta get it done. Uh, so if you slug around a bit in the morning, you know, try to make it easy on yourself where you have all of your kind of gear, all of your, um, equipment, your water set up for you. So you kind of just get going um, as quick as possible. And once your body gets moving uh, in your warm up, you will feel better. So right now I'm still pretty tired. I barely just got to drink a little bit of coffee. Uh, but once I get moving, once I get running, uh, my my first like warm up kilometer or so, I know that I'll feel a lot better. And your brain wakes up, that's when your endorphins, adrenaline kicks in, you will feel better. Uh, so push through on those rough mornings to get going. Here now I'm on day five uh, and I do feel a little bit more sore. Yesterday was a really long day, uh, but I'm pushing through, meeting up with my friends soon uh, to go hit day number five. Let's do it. So with that being said, I feel like as you get going, uh, there is just like something where you just gotta get in the mind that you're gonna go and do it and that will help quite a bit. So, you know, that's uh, something where if you have friends you're meeting up with, or sometimes I'll plan to run an errand after exercise run, uh, just little things that help boost that motivation factor uh, and just commit to doing it. But in the process, if you do realize that like you're really worn out, you're really tired, uh, you know, sometimes I will decide, okay, yeah, I'm gonna take it a little easy today, um, but just getting out there for 15 minutes to get your body moving uh, will really help and make a difference. So another thing I want to mention with it is uh, it is difficult to kind of look forward to torturing yourself in exercise if that's how you see it. So try to make it as fun as possible. Um, you know, pick a place to go that's nice, that's beautiful, that's scenic. Uh, that's part of what I'm trying to show in, in just these little series and my training is that, wow, what great places. You know, if I know I'm going to like a nice fun park uh, where I'll have like a moment and to be able to chill, to sit, to see something just like really awesome, amazing. That makes it all the easier uh, to get going as you're looking forward to that. Another thing that really helps a lot of people is, you know, being excited about what you're going out to do. Um, so in running, there's not a lot of gear, but you know, if you have an outfit that you wanna wear, you're excited to use your shoes, whatever it is, um, those little things uh, can just help get you psyched, uh, get you passionate about what you're doing uh, and look forward to the run coming up. So let's get going. All right, so I'm back at Nong Bon Park and here with a couple friends. There's A and Vicky's there in the back. And uh, yeah, gonna do some, just a short run today since I did so much yesterday. But I especially plan to hit just this bridge a lot, working on some hills as well in my 5K.
see lots of people out this morning looking really nice. Wanted people to see just how, how active the park normally is. Yesterday we were here kind of midday, so it was pretty quiet. There were not many people, but this morning there's lots of people running, cycling, walking their dogs. So I look forward to hitting the trail ourselves. There's Arizona. You got a stick? Got a stick? Yeah. What a good dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dogs love tug of war. <laughs> Always down to <laughs> <laughs> So cool. <laughs> just wrapped up my day five run did about a total of 5k so it's about three miles and uh, I just went up and down this little pathway and then I hit those hills for about a, a mile and uh, just did that to get in some good kind of climbing and get used to that a bit and then I did one more stretch up and down so and that just made out my total 5k so there it is so I'm gonna meet up with back up with my friends and ran into another friend, Bailey, and I think we're all gonna go grab coffee together here in just a sec. All right, so right outside the park, there's this bike shop called Happy Bike, and there's this cafe right next to it called Happy Cup. So I'm meeting up with our friends, we're gonna just have some coffee after our run and walk. Yeah, I've never been in this place. You can see there's a lot of runners like will just uh, grab their coffee afterwards. So it's like a really great place. Yeah, just chill, hang out after your workout. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how it is. 